So coal is often transported via rail, but liquid fuels such as oil, gasoline, well those can be pumped, not just pumped into your vehicle, but pumped along long pipelines. Much of America is crisscrossed by these oil pipelines. Gas can also be pumped too. Coal is very dirty, not only for the people working, but for the environs as well. Plus coal mines tend to explode with the trapped gas if you're not careful. Oil pipelines may leak and pollute the groundwater. And oil tankers on the sea, well, when they crash, that causes lots of pollution and ruins the livelihood of the local fishermen. Once you process coal, you get something called slag that's left over, and that's an eyesore. And occasionally, these enormous mountains of slag have slid downhill and killed people in the valleys below. Comparing coal, oil, and gas, from left to right. Well, coal, there's loads of it. We're not gonna run out anytime soon, but there's a lot less oil and gas. But coal does contain almost all carbon, which is very polluting. Gas contains the least carbon of the three fossil fuels that you're looking at. Those are acid rain clouds, and so coal and oil burns to produce acid rain, but gas produces very little acid rain. That was an umbrella. And let's not forget that the combustion of fossil fuels also produces carbon dioxide gas. And that is one of the many gases that is responsible for anthropogenic or man-made climate change. The carbon dioxide gas traps, if you will, the infrared radiation, or some of it, coming from the planet Earth, heating up the planet. Carbon dioxide also acidifies the oceans, and that's destroying the corals. I feel kind of miserable. Let's look at a summary. So this is taken from the books of my knowledge. So the pros, coal has the biggest reserves, the biggest global distribution, and compare it to nuclear. Hmm, we'll come back to that. We'll talk about what one of the textbooks says in a bit. The cons of coal, well, acid rain, climate change, sea acidification, slag heaps, explosions, and smoke. We'll come back to that. So oil is transportable by pipelines and it's pumpable, which Microsoft Word doesn't like. Bad parts about oil, acid rain, climate change, sea acidification, wars, and these polluting leaks as well. And the pipelines leak out. And gas, essentially methane, well that's less carbon dioxide than other fuels. And that's because it's got more hydrogen than other fuels. And it has the highest energy density. One kilo of gas has more energy than a kilo of either oil or coal. And the cons, well, it says no acid rain in the book. I, I don't agree with that either, so I'm going to highlight that too. Climate change, sea acidification, eh, and explosive leaks. All righty, so let's look at and comparing to nuclear. The book says that nuclear is worse than coal. But according to the New York Times, burning coal has the worst health impact of any source of air pollution in China and caused 366,000 premature deaths in 2013, according to the New York Times. So even though the book says that nuclear is more dangerous, I think in actuality coal is probably more dangerous. And that's because of the smoke that comes off of the coal. And talking about gas, it says no acid rain in the books. But you know what? Whenever you burn something hot enough, the nitrogen and the oxygen in the air react to form nitrogen oxides. And when these get wet from the atmosphere, it makes nitric acid, which is acid rain. So if I was you, I'd steer clear about comparing coal and nuclear in terms of their death rate. And I also uh, would steer clear, if you can, talking about acid rain from burning gas, since not all the books agree.